Hello, you Debrix here, back with another video. Today we have another custom minifigure showcase video. Today we have... Today we have the Funko version of Annie and Montgomery Gator from Security Breach, FNAF Security Breach. I will, this is only part one, I will be making the others soon, just not yet. I just gotta like, think of what I should put in my display cases. Customs are official. I feel like I should just put customs in there because like I take more time into them. And they're not like mass produced figures, mostly. But yeah, so for this showcase, we have Vanny and Montgomery Gator. I will be doing a full showcase after these are finished. After I made the full complete wave. I'm gonna update Vanny after this showcase. Then Montgomery Gator, I'm probably gonna remake entirely to give him more more accurate stuff, honestly, like a brighter green and other stuff like that. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, to start off this showcase, we have Vanny. As you can see here, she's completely painted white. I use a white base, which is probably not the best idea. I painted on the light gray on her feet. This is based off the Funko figure before they actually had the real art and real, what's it called? PNGs and stuff of Vanny. So, like, I really didn't know what she looked like. I was basing this off the Funko figure. So why she has like some gray areas and a lot more speckled patterns, the plaid patterns. And I made her bow tie flat because like I'm not sculpting that yet at least. I am really proud of the head. It's really accurate except for the pupils. I do need to paint inside the ears but like I figured you barely see it so there's no reason to paint it. Torso, her breasts are sculpted. I painted on sculpted slash paint indented her um crease right here from her t her from her breast to her hip then i painted on all this other stuff like her patterns and stuff then have plaid pattern on the side is just random dots i just painted on in red sculpted the head sculpted the chest i keep saying that for some reason as you can see the bow tie is not sculpted and the whiskers on the back, there's literally nothing. I didn't make her a curved torso, so she's more feminine. On the left side, she has gray and dark gray, I think. Yeah, just dark gray and white. I'm going to fix this up. That's why I'm showcasing this one more time before we get into, you know, the, the final, not final, but like a few other parts of Security Breach. I at least want to make Vanny, at least in all the parts, before I get into the big showcase. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for it for Vanny. Her eyes are red. It's hard to tell because there's pink background, but her eyes are red. I did paint on the pupil in white because like I thought her pupils were white, but no, they're, they're, they're basically black, honestly. So I got to fix that up. Sculpted her nose, her ears. I did it like the Funko figure, so this is not entirely accurate, unfortunately. Paint her bow tie in blue or ribbon in blue. But yeah, let's move on to Monty. Alright, for Monty here, as you can see here, his legs are sculpted. Then I sanded him down. This is my first time, not first time, but it's like one of my first time, per, like, you know, sanding down to customs until it looks good or at least mostly decent. This is the first time I've ever done that. Usually I just freehand it. But yeah, I sculpted on his chest to give him that animatronic buff look. Sculpted on the arms. This one's more aimed outwards because, like, sculpted a little bit too much on the arm. So, yeah. And I sculpted the shoulder pads. Sanded them down to give him the spikes on both sides. As you can see here with the legs, as you can see here, I painted on, like, marsh green, I think. Or Christmas green. Four of the dots on his legs, not on the head. See here, I I did paint the yellow on him too. Then the black belt with the silver spikes. Excuse me, sorry. And like in the silver black and black wristbands and silver spikes on left and right arms. 
I think I put, like, some dots on there. Yeah, I did. It's just hard to see for some reason. I did put some dots on here on the back. This one actually did the back partially. I just painted on a sloppy belt and gave him the silver for his... What's it called? S silver for his spikes. Head is completely sculpted by me. All handmade. His teeth are completely painted in white. His head is disproportionate, I'd say. But, like, I try to get it, like, decently proportional. His hair is completely sculpted. I know I didn't add any texture to it because I didn't know he had texture at the time. Because, like, this was partially based off the Funko figure, partially based off of the poster art. But, yeah, then I painted on his star glasses. They're not in orange, they're in yellow. They're in yellow instead of orange. Then I painted on the blue, not blue, purple lightning strike first. Then I painted on the sunglasses and I gave him the black rims around it. As you can see, there is a tiny pinch of black right there for his sunglasses. I can't paint on the eyebrows yet. They're just way too small. At least for me at the moment. But yeah, let's get on to the conclusion of this video. Then we'll get into some updates. Alrighty, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first time on this channel, at least getting a getting FNAF showcases out before the release game, release date. I'm usually not good with this stuff, but at least I tried this time, honestly. I really worked really hard on Vanny. I worked really hard on Monty. It's like I've been taking su suggestions and advice this time. Actually, I've been. I. I mean, I'm still learning on it. Still working on it, but like I'm still, I'm almost there. Honestly, I just need to keep sanding down parts to make them more, you know, flush and stuff. And yeah, my next showcase might be into the pit spring Bonnie. I have made him, but like he's almost done. I just need to sand down a few parts, like the side right here. And yeah, his arms are mostly complete, and I need to paint on his nose and his eyeballs, pupils, whatever. Iris, I meant. Then we have. I know I haven't done been doing much recently, but we have Vengeance. I mean Batman. I have to redo his leg, honestly. Like I messed up big time. Then we have my updated Ben Tennyson. I'm still working on these figures. It's just taking a while because I'm trying to think of a unique, unique way to make these good, honestly. It's so, like, I don't want to copy anybody anymore. I just want to make it my own design, honestly. As much as possible. That's why he just has a painted shirt instead of, like, a, you know, 3D e-tape one. I mean, like, I might do the e-tape or cardstock one like I did with Charlie from the Twisted Ones or the four Silver Eyes. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, suggestions. I am open to them, but I'll only take like two to three per time because I am only like one person and I do not have a lot of money. And Other than that, I think that's basically it. I do have a lot of FNAF customs in the works. I still have like Fazgoo and all that to do. And yeah, I'm really far behind on Fazbear Frights. The bright side is Eleanor looks amazing that I made, honestly. But like, I gotta, re I gotta make another one for like her... Or at least give her a magnetic part for mat for like her tentacles and like that sounded weird about like her tentacles and like the final Stitch Rafe story. But yeah, other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to. And yeah, bye. Thank you all so much.